Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. On my videos about the My TT Go Watch image for T Watch 2020 and T Watch 2021, I had a couple of comments over the last couple of weeks saying it doesn't compile. And from the first comment, I actually went back and compiled the My TT Go Watch in my environment over and over again successfully. And that was until I accidentally updated to version 4.3 of the ESP32 platform in Platform.io. So I'm going to show you what we're talking about here. Yeah, see here, he successfully compiled after he took my advice. So in Platform.io, in the PIO Home tab, you can click on Platforms, and you see this Espressif 32 is installed. I have version 3.3.2 installed, 3.3.0 installed, and that's been working fine for me. But then if you go into Updates, and update to a version 4x, your compiling is going to fail. Now you see here, in my experience, I installed 4.3, and nothing would compile successfully for me. But it worked after falling back to 3.3.0. Now there's another way to specify which version to use, and that's in the Platform.io INI file. Now, note that these emulator environments don't have this line in the code, so just ignore the emulator environments. You're looking for the live environments that you're going to actually install on your device. Yeah, see, here's the environment for M5 Paper, and it has this line of code, platform equals Espressif32 at 3.3.0. And that's how you can specify which version of the platform Espressif 32 that you want to use. So you can control it either by going into PIO Home Platforms and selecting which version you want installed, or you can add this line of code to the environments that you want to upload to your T-Watches. But whatever you do, don't update to version 4.x. I found that it immediately caused my TT Go Watch to fail to compile. I hope that answers your question. Leave a comment down below. Give this video a like, and before you go watch more of my TT Go T Watch videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.